Hey folks, AJ the CEO here, and in this video, we're gonna be reviewing a new audio interface here that I'm gonna be using, the Evo 4, so let's go. Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by and on this channel. We focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if y'all like what we're doing here, consider becoming a patron or a YouTube member to help support this channel. Links are in the description or the join button right below. In my pursuit to actually get better sound, I actually have a Yamaha MG10XU <laughs> that I actually was running my audio through just so I can have an example of how to test out and connect everything to the A10 Mini and different scenarios um, that churches we use for getting sound into your live stream. Um, I mean, that works well, but again, I, have, I do not hide this, that I'm not a sound engineer. I am learning just like all of y'all, but one thing I heard about this little device is that this will make the gain and balancing everything with your audio super, super easy. And this is pretty small. So let's go ahead and open this up and let's see what's inside. All right, so um, I, in full disclosure, I paid for this with my own money. <laughs> so this is what's gonna, I'm gonna, my whole goal is to actually use this with my A10 Mini um, to get better sound because I, want to move back to using this right now that would give me better sound and then ultimately get one of those sure mics or something like that but let's just see how that all goes so let me open this up here my trusty fingernail file <laughs> all right so i'm going to do this mainly for a use of simplicity here uh, my whole goal is to be able to get up and running without a lot of hassle. All right, so let's get this open here. Uh, we got a little pamphlet here, talks about the buttons, how to connect it, installing the drivers, um, smart gain. That's the feature that I, I am really looking forward to and how to use everything. So we'll just set that right there. And we got the device here really nice here um, and I actually ordered this Friday and it's Sunday right now so we got it pretty fast so I like that all right very small because like I said I want to have a very small footprint and I like this humongous dial here and this kind of has some feel to it when you're turning it all right so we have a a quarter inch instrument in, headphones out, because I got some new headphones and I want this to be a lot easier um, when I'm connecting it to my system. I'll explain that later. It's USB-C. We have a left and right quarter inch stereo out and then we have XLR with quarter inch ins right here. So this is what I'm gonna connect my microphone to. And I think I have all this off, yes I do. All right, so the idea is we're gonna have this connected here for that mic that we just had, or if I was using my wireless, which I'm using right now, I can connect this, the Rode wireless, to here as well too. Either one um, will make this easier. I'm gonna actually put this here because I will possibly use this more often. But when I'm in my stationary mode like this, I plan to use my actual mic and I'll probably get a boom mic on my desk here for that. And then we also have USB-C cable. And do I have an open jack back there? Yes, I do. So we'll be connecting that this way. So again, this provides phantom power here for the mics. We have your regular volume, um, your settings, the smart gain button, input one, input two. Then you got your knob here to set to set volume and all that other fun stuff. Really straightforward. And I'm sitting back thinking with all the churches who might wanna have better sound, um, I think this is a good option. Now, I think this was uh, $120. And I'll be honest, the Yamaha board that I have was a 
about 180 and that was a 10 channel mixer. Um, again, I'm getting this because I want this to be simple and not having to get a degree in um, sound engineering to get good quality sound. Now, actually, since I'm recording with the ATEM Mini, I actually already have a cable here. So let's go ahead and connect this and get the drivers installed and then we will go from there. Let's go here, evo.audio slash evo4 slash downloads. All right, let's get our drivers installed for Windows. And I might as well pull this down because I'm gonna try this out on the Ryzen Tosh. I haven't used that for anything here in a while. All right, installing our drivers here. Let's give that a second here. All righty, we're all done. Now, I, again, I have recently bought some new headphones here, so I wanna see most likely, I, this should loop all my audio through the system as well too. So this is gonna be my easier way to get sound into the system. Um, but let's make sure we got everything installed here. All right, so we have our Evo, it requires a firmware update, so let's go ahead and okay that. Get that all done. All right, we got our little control here. And we're gonna get it from them next. Please quit out any applications currently using it. Well, I'm not, so we should be good with that. And that's gonna run, and it has this creative hub here. I don't want that. Let's close that out, all right. Let's click update and let's get this knocked out. All right, now, so while this is updating, the plan, like I said, is I'm still gonna have my Yamaha board connected to here onto the mic input number two for my A10 Mini Pro, but I plan to actually connect the output from this um, into the A10 using this kind of, the quarter inches out that will go for the stereo out into a stereo connection that will go into the back of the A10 Mini. And this, honestly, I'm doing this mainly so I can have a nicer mic when I'm doing Zoom calls and everything like that without having to turn the whole sound mixer on and disconnect the USB and all this other stuff because USB is going to my streaming system. This is, I want to have a mic that I can, if my mixer isn't on, I can use for anything that's on the system, recording, singing, meetings, whatever as well as have this connected to my ATEM and balance out the sound without me having to really get all this stuff rigged up that I got wearing right now. Um, and let's see, I think our update is done. Yes, it is. Okay. All right, so we're good. So now let's see what our software has on it. So here's our software, pretty straightforward. Um, file, open, save. We'll come back to that setup, set ASIO buffer size. We're gonna leave it at that, set sample rate. My sample rate is gonna be at 48 kilohertz. And that's pretty much it. And guess we really don't need to do this because all of what's in the software is actually on the device. So let's go ahead and um, let me turn back on my taskbar so we can actually see the sound here. We want to get my, how we're gonna set up our sound here. And we're gonna turn on task bars on all our screens. So now that y'all can see it. All right, so we get, and of course it didn't have volume over here. So that was pointless. <laughs> but anyway, let's go open up our sound now and Okay, our output device is the main output, so it's picking up the device. I don't want to do that. Um, all right, so we're getting our mic in, either line one or line two. Okay, and then you also have a mic line in, which is the one that's in the front. Okay, so that's fine. Um, so let's see. Let's put the headphones on. What do we get? 
with this. Do we hear anything? Okay, I am hearing something coming back through the headphones, so that's good. And it actually is lighting up on here when I test out the sound, because I can change the volume from here. And you see it's lighting up based off of where I have it, and then changing the dial changes the volume on the computer, which is cool. All right, so that part is straightforward. Nothing really super sciencey about that. Um, now, what I want to do is, I mean, first off, this makes this easy because I don't have to, when I connect this on my computer, I get this Asus pop-up for mics and headphones. And I don't want to do that. This makes it easier because I can just plug my headphones in right here, especially for video editing. It makes it really easy. Um, and I really don't need to have my speaker come out through here. Um, so I think we're good. Now, the one thing we're going to test now is the mic set up with this. So if we cut back over here, I'm already connected with my mic here. We're going to turn on um, 48 volts. Well, actually, let's set it to number one, then 48 volts. All right, so now we have power. Let me hook up that cable that I just dropped on the floor. And we're gonna connect this to our input number two on our ATEM. And we want to see, do we get a good balanced sound coming out of here? From this device, all right? So we got our left and right. All right, so like that. And now let's go over to our ATEM software. And we want to bring in this, we'll set the audio for that. All right, so what we wanna do, and again, I'm gonna go with line in because I have no idea how this is actually um, showing up right now. All right, we want to go in here. I'm going to go to general and we want to. OK, so line two is already set to line in because this is what I had connected to my Yamaha mixer. So now let's go ahead and turn on the sound and I'm going to be transitioning. Well, actually, see, I'm not getting anything. I'm wondering, is it doing that because my headphones are connected? So let's unplug these. Now, are we getting anything out? No, we are not. That's our, okay, now we are cranking this up. We're getting something now. All right, so let's look at the controls here. So number five is monitor mix, and then number six is volume output. So we're gonna hit this bottom button here, and we're gonna adjust our output to something like this. Now, if we cut back over to the computer, now we're getting some very good volume on level two. So I'm gonna plug my headphone back in. Hopefully I don't blow my ears out. And that is really loud. All right, so yeah, so when I'm connected <laughs> to this in the front, I, I'm not getting any sound out. So for right now, when I, I guess when I'm listening to this, I don't have a pass through. And I'm sure there's a setting in here. I got to play around with that. But let's go ahead and I'm with my Rode mic right now. We're going to turn the Rode mic off and turn on the sound from the board. And I might need to turn this down a little bit, to be quite honest. Let's get it to about right there because we're close to matching what our sound is with the Rode. One more. I think now we got to match. All right. So now I'm going to turn off the sound on the... Rode wireless and then turn on the sound from the Evo 4. All right, and this is sound coming from the Evo 4. Um, I'm more comfortable sitting back from here. Now, I don't know why I still have these headphones on, but I'm more comfortable from right here and I'm getting the same type of feedback from here. Now, I don't know if it's a lot of noise. I'm not going to be able to tell that. So let's go through and let's check out this smart gain. Um, I got my mic set up here that ultimately what I want to use and I want to kind of place it in a 
position to where I want to be comfortable so I'm not sitting all up on the mic and all this other stuff like that. So I think this is fine. All right, so I think everything is good to go. So what we're gonna do is based off of what they said in the instructions, we're gonna go ahead and hit this green button here. Then we're gonna press what channel we're gonna use. And then now we set this again. <clears throat> and now we just gotta talk Hello, 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 hello. This is how I would rather be talking into this. So I think this will be good. I think this will be good. Yes, audio, yes. Right here is a good level for me to go through the system. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna switch over from, I'm gonna turn off the Rode wireless that I'm using that's connected directly to the ATEM, and now I'm gonna switch over to the EVO 4. All right, so this is the audio coming directly from the EVO 4. I have not moved. This is the distance that I would like, and we will tell in the, <laughs> the editing of this how this turns out. So let me know what y'all think in the description. Did it sound better like this, or should I go back to the Rode Wireless? Because I still have the connection here in the back that I actually unplugged, but I can hook the Rode Wireless back up to this instead. And this is the option of me being able to use this system to connect over USB into my computer so that I can have this mic go for my Zoom and anything like that when I'm doing singing for a choir and everything like that a good nice interface but at the same time i can do my quarter inches out into the atem for sound and that so i have sound going to both systems then i have an easier headphone jack that i can plug into when i want to listen with my headphones instead of plugging into the the um, unified connection here on my computer that's a headphone and a microphone jack that I always have to go through this pop-up. So this is just ease of use for me. Um, so let me know what y'all think. The rest of this video is on this producing the audio. I might crank this up just for my taste, but I'm gonna see what it sounds like in the audio. And I will put a comment if I made any alterations to the audio. I probably won't, just so y'all can have a clear cut what this sounds like. So. That's about it, folks. Again, I'm still on the Evo 04 sound. Very nice interface, very simple. Um, build quality is good. I mean, I'm not gonna be taking this thing around with me. I'm meaning for this to just stay in place while here on my system. Um, but that's about it. And link is in the description if you're interested in it. In the comments, let me know, because this is what I'm using from now on. Let me know if you have any other questions. Um, if you want me to test out anything, I do have a keyboard that I could hook up to this if you'd like, because um, I didn't use the line in on the front for an instrument. But let me know if you have any other questions. Like I said, link is in the description if you are interested in picking up one of these things. So if you like this type of content, I appreciate a like. Consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. And and I want to thank the patrons and the YouTube members who made this video possible. Their name's on the screen right now, and you too can become a patron for as little as $1 a month or a YouTube member for as little as $4.99 a month, which also gives you perks and benefits here on YouTube, as well as perks and benefits on the tiers that you pick on Patreon.com. Either way you decide to support us, I appreciate it because you are helping us train media ministries all over the world. Thanks for watching, folks. This is AJ, and we will see you on the next video later.